have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday plane. Twitter and other bands. My name is Jed Lockett. Behind me is the facility formerly known as the Riverfront Coliseum. And tonight, the Quad City Mallards are in town to take on Cincinnati. It's Teddy Bear Toss night. Tonight for the Teddy Bear Toss here in Cincinnati, I brought 50 red, black, and white snakes. I figured if I'm going to do this, let's have every one of these videos have a little bit of a different kind of a theme to it. So tonight is snakes on a hockey rink. I can't throw out 50 snakes though by myself, so I'm going to need to find some help. Excuse me, did you guys bring a stuffed animal for the teddy bear toss? to a game in Dayton when they were still the demons, but uh, wound up taking something else instead. Hey, you guys bring stuff in for the containers on? Well, I've got some extras if you want some. Snakes, rather. Hasta luego. The last teddy bear toss I was involved with was in Gwinnett, Georgia, back in February. So this this is a long time coming. It's kind of early for the holiday season. A lot of people are complaining about all the Christmas music that's being played right now. Yeah, I wore 98 and started doing this and Christmas music. And uh, yeah, I switched to another station. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Tell us about it. It's early for Christmas music. It's early for Starbucks Christmas cups. I don't care what color they are. The Bears from tonight's toss will go to the Cincinnati Police Department. Fantastic that they do that here. Certainly, police and officers have been in the news a lot over the past year or so. But the truth is, police also do a lot of good in our communities. And the fact that the Bears help them out in their daily jobs makes this absolutely worth it. I wish that the team did much more to promote it. They should. Because, like I said, our officers, they do a lot for us. We need to do more for them. You may remember her from last season, Holly Noel Angel. She is singing the national anthem tonight. Sony in my right hand and my GoPro in my left with a bag full of snakes hanging off of my left wrist. So far Quad Cities is dominating the run of play. 
Cincinnati is having problems just getting it in the zone, let alone getting a shot off. You want that goal to come so you can let the curve fly. But we're over halfway through the first period and so far nothing close. Well, something sort of close, but we'll see. Cincinnati's going on a power play, so it may come. It may come here. plushies as in past years. All right, there's one little bit of the tradition. One period is in the books. Cincinnati leads two to nothing. I had my second ice skating lesson last night. Only fell twice, but one of them was pretty doggone hard. Rattled the brain part in my noggin a bit. I'm feeling a little weird. The birthday party in front of me is trying to get away from. So far, no luck. I'm watching these guys skate in front of me, and I am really appreciating just how skilled that they are. I needed a whole stack of buckets last night just to keep balanced. That was after my second really hard fall. Well, 
my second fall, which was really hard, actually. Some people bungee jump, some people fly airplanes. I want to ice skate. And I will ice skate. A rogue teddy bear just flew on the ice. If you're going to a teddy bear toss game, unload all of them after the first goal or when they tell you to. That actually happened once at the indoor football game that I did a while back where we had a teddy bear toss. A random plushie came flying onto the field long after the designated time of the toss. It was a first for them and a first for me, and boy, it was fun. One of the board sponsors here in Cincinnati this season is IGotADUI.com. Do they get half their business from Lindsay Lohan? This period has been somewhat devoid of in-game promotions. It's like that game I attended in Dayton last week. They're doing more stuff at Ohio State than they are here. Two periods are in the books. Cincinnati leads two to nothing. The mascot nearly got killed to death by a Zamboni. He is sliding on his head backwards and the Zamboni is coming right at him. And the Zamboni had to move out of the way real quick. Gold Quad City, 2-1 now. My friend Holly Noel Angel did a wonderful job with the National Anthem. A lot of great anthems though in the realm of hockey. None of them in my mind top Jim Cornelson, the Chicago Blackhawks guy. He's unbelievable. Boy, is he good. He's just one of many reasons I would love to go to Chicago here very soon to take in some hockey. Go to Chicago again, I should say. I, of course, went to one of their home games January 1st, 2009. They played Detroit at Wrigley Field. Exactly a traditional Blackhawks home game. But boy, was it memorable. These people want Dragon Ball! Come on! Come on! Yes, yes, yes! that long and hard. Well, that's going to depend on what kind of plushies I can get online for cheap, though. Less than a minute to go. Quad City's emptied their net.
ladies and gentlemen, final score, Cincinnati 3, Quad City 1. Hey! She wanted to be in the video. Why are you taking this video? I have a YouTube channel. Oh, hey, on page. Then we'll do it for this edition of Diary of a Hockey Superfan. I promise I will let you know for sure next week the dates and the places of the remaining games of my 2015, our 2015, 2016 Teddy Bear Tour. If you enjoyed this video, please body check that like button and hit subscribe as well. Until next time, in the immortal words of Red Green, keep your stick on the ice. Seats are still the same. Concourse here is still the same. And we have a caricature artist. Here we have a face painter. Chuck a puck right here. <laughs>